Hello, adventurers! I'm Gray, and welcome back to some more Dicey Dungeons. Our inventor here looks a little bit scared, but that is fine, because I am very excited. We are going to go as the thief this time, I believe. Yes, as the thief. So we did the warrior last time. We did worse than a curse. It was very good. I enjoyed it. Thief, we got Uptick, which based off the name, I can kind of guess what it's going to be about. But let's take a look anyway. So, Uptick. On your first turn, all your dice roll one. On your second, they roll two. Third time lucky? Nope. Third time, you roll a three. And then the rules are basically the same thing, but in just more general text. Let's just hop into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited. This could be good or bad. I'm going to need to like set up a build that works with this. Welcome back, my little would-be winner. Planning how to spend all that money? Private island, fancy yacht. New friends to tell you that you're definitely as clever as you think. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. We're a green guy in the green jungle. Anyway, I do have a couple comments I wanted to quickly read. One thing I was told is that with limit breaks, which is sort of my special ability, the less health you have, the faster they'll unlock. So in that last build, whenever my health kept, or in the last episode I did, whenever my health kept going down with every level up, it meant that I could use my ability um, quicker when taking damage, which makes sense. Um, otherwise, it would be very difficult to use them. Um, also, Fury only triggers when equipment is fully activated, not whenever you're throwing in some dice into something that takes many to start up. And then... That's basically it. Other than that, um, it's fun to fight bosses using the same ability they have, but you just do it better. For example, fighting Weifei with a great shield build. Which I do want to use more shield builds at some point, because they're actually pretty fun to use. I need to use shield bash with it though if I'm going to be doing that. So uptick, I can increase and reset all dice. So if I wanted to, what I could do is do that, do this, turn all the rest to two, do this, turn to three, do this in. Interesting. Okay, I get it. I get how it works. So with this build, it looks like what I'm going to need is a lot, and I mean a lot, of dice. Actually, okay, the uptick stays each time, so the more I put in, the quicker I get more dice, basically. So let's do that. That'll... Mm, that's not ideal, actually. I might have upticked too much. We'll roll three dice at the current uptick value. That'll roll three dice at a six, at a four, and then... I mean, might as well. <laughs> I think I might have screwed myself a little bit here with not knowing exactly how my abilities work. Actually, I might be screwed just on the first floor. But you know what? This is a good test run for now. Reset uptick to one. How about I split this in two? That didn't work. <laughs> I might be screwed, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> here, we can do this. We can take out this guy. Get off here, Karen suck okay we somehow survived that barely bump oh well very useful actually it is kind of useful okay can I take Rose out quickly I've got twos right now I can split actually how about I split this in two to get that increase all these to three and then just do this that was pretty alright. And then once they're all at threes... Oh, and you can't do anything. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, but it goes up every turn even if I don't plug it in there. Okay, that makes sense. That's a bit of a problem though, because that means I can't finish them. Well, I'll uptick. Why not? Oh. I actually... I don't think I can damage them. I don't think I'm allowed to damage them. Well, this is gonna kill me. I live. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So if thorns would kill you, but you kill them on the same turn, you still survive it. Jeez. <laughs> well, you know what? We trial by fired that. We made it through. Um, you know, the best way to see if something's dangerous is to definitely throw yourself into it. Like if you see a bunch of flames, um, unsure if it'll hurt, just catch yourself on fire. It's completely fine. Very normal thing to do. 
Okay, well. Boop. 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 I don't know if that mattered, actually. <laughs> actually, I could bring this up to a three now. There you go. Pretty good. I need, I need something that I can use higher dice on. Because my dice are going to get higher every turn. I need something I can use those on. Because now I have a bunch of fours. But fours aren't the best for me. I, at the very least, I know exactly what this dice is, and that's pretty nice. Split it in two. Okay. Just throw these in here. That was a one. That This must be a three, then. Nope. What do I do with these? I can't throw them in there. And I don't want to use trips, because it's kind of useless at this point. We'll just do that, and get them all up to six now. And they'll all be ones next turn, which is actually all right for me, I think. I don't know. I still don't know how to do this build that effectively. Or this, uh, this episode. At the very least, I can do this. Actually, let's split this dice in two and get another one. Let's do trips to get a ton of ones. Bring them all up to twos and bring them all up to threes. I think that's a good thing we can do. And that'll finish. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's the setup. Get out of here, baby squid. No one loves- I mean, okay, fine. I do love you, baby squid. You're pretty cute. Not gonna lie. Ah, snake eye charm, not my favorite. I do want to see if I can get the, uh... <laughs> to, to get the potion to transform into a bear. <laughs> from this alchemist. But I don't think I actually steal their stuff with this- Nah, I won't be able to this time, because my thief bow doesn't actually steal anything. Also, uptick carries over, which is a bit of a shame. At the very least, I can throw my stuff into Snake Eye Charm now if I if I get really high dice. So let's actually... I'm gonna do this. Let's uptick. Bump it. Roll Snake Eye Charm. Split this in two. Not, ex not what I wanted, really, but you know what? It's fine. Whoa, whoa. I was hoping to get a three and a two, but... There we go. Three damage, at least. I, I got something out of it. We're gonna do potion me, spiky potion, toxic potion, bear potion. Let's do this. Let's also do this, just to get as much as many dice as possible. And then let's reset to one. Split this dice in two. Bring these all up to two. Okay, I can do eight like this, or if I do this, I can do nine. So let's do that. Maybe I should be thinking more about future damage, though. Maybe I should have just gone up the twos, because next turn it would have been threes, and I could have done that the next turn. I think that might be better. I'll keep that in mind now. Also, this girl hurts, because I could have done trips with the threes this turn. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. I think I didn't quite figure out the build this run, um, which is fine. But I want to test out if I do uptick. Does it reset the fire? No, it does not. Okay, very cool. Screw it. Screw it. I'm gonna bring it up to a six. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just uh, do whatever I can here. There we go. Split a dice and let's throw this in here. Split this dice in two. Do that. If they're unable to do anything, I might stand the chance. They're unable to do anything. Okay, cool. I might be able to make it. Oh, wait, I forgot I was poisoned. <laughs> oh, there goes that. <laughs> okay, I think I'm about, about back to where I was. My setup is a little bit different in that I have Hall of Mirrors now and Leather Armor, which is nice because they allow me to use some dice I wouldn't be able to use before. Like Leather Army. Armor lets me use a five. Leather army. Imagine if I had an army full of leather people. <laughs> Kinky. And then Hall of Mirrors requires a six. But since I don't really have many other ways to use a six, that's actually pretty nice. And that'll increase my dice for the following turns to be able to deal more damage using Le Dagger. So that's really good. Hopefully that works out. This is actually a really hard build for me to play. Like this episode in general. Because once I get to a certain point, I just keep having to use uptick to be able to do anything else of use. I can split this 5, of course, which is nice. But there's good odds I'll get a 4, which I can't put in the leather armor. I can put in the snake eye charm, but it wouldn't let me finish it up. I could put something in the dagger. I mean, that one in dagger, but 
What I think I'll do is I'll put this five in here and put this one in here to do absolutely no difference whatsoever because I could have put them in the leather armor and dagger anyway. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Boop. Boop. And then since I can't otherwise use the four, let's use this five to bring it up to a six and throw it in here. And now we'll have more dice for the future. I think this that's a good long-term setup. But I need good survivability if I'm really going to use it. Also, trips, super valuable. It's, that needs a five. That's not going to happen. So look at how many ones I can get from this. Boop, boop, boop. There's a lot there. And then what I can do is uptick that to twos. Uptick that to threes. And just deal massive damage with dagger. Honestly, if I could get dagger upgraded at some point, that would be very valuable. Because I would have been able to deal quite a lot more damage than this. With an upgrade. Ow. Ow. Leave me alone. Okay, we got fours. Got a lot of fours. Not going to be using Hall of Mirrors this turn, that's for sure. Let's see, we can go ahead and dagger with this. We could use leather armor because we can bring this up to a five. I'm going to use this one while I still can. Okay, let's uptick. So let's leather armor that. And let's put this five, not into uptick right now, into snake eye charm. So it'll be prepared later on. All we need to do is throw a one into it and we'll get more, two ones out of it. So it's like duplicating it. Look at all these sixes. Even if he weakens my Hall of Mirrors, which he didn't, I can still use it. Okay. Let's split the six and two. Oh, okay, let me give someone. That's fine. And we can use that. We could roll some ones. And then uptick. How about we do this? Just to like do a little bit more damage. We'll do that. We'll roll two ones. We'll throw one into here. And we can throw a two into here. There we go. Oh, uh, I didn't realize you were so low on health. <laughs> I should pay more attention. Not, not just in games, but just in general. Just all the time. I really should. Bump. Don't really need. Bandage. Now that sounds nice. Pea shooter. Ah. <sighs> Normally, I, don't, I like hate the pea shooter, but like being able to spend my higher dice on it is nice. But I do want that survivability, to be honest. So I'm, I'm probably going to go for bandage. For now. I mean, I say for now, but it's not like I can go back. Let's take on Dryad. Eat your leafy greens. Though, be careful if you're on Warfarin, because you don't want to have that interaction. <laughs> Vitamin K. Oh, dagger. Or... Ah, I'm not sure. Now I have so many things, I'm not sure what the best thing is to do first. I definitely don't want to uptick, though. I know that much. Let's split this in two, so I have more options. Throw one into leather armor. I say dagger is probably the best thing to spend my stuff on. Do I want a bandage? I think dealing three damage is better than healing one HP, so... Really, I'm going to save Bandage for whenever I have, like, fives or something that I can't use anywhere else. I have no way to get rid of it. I just throw it on a Bandage and it'll heal me a little bit. Okay, so now I have tons of fours. Which is a problem, because fours aren't actually that useful for me. It's fine. Let's split this four in two. Hope we get some odds. Yeah, that's that's good. We'll throw one into Leather Armor. We'll throw one into here. And I was thinking we can trips maybe, and then uh, throw some in the snake eye. Okay. That actually does very little for him. Actually, I can bandage with him, so that's nice. And I can do this to get myself another hall of mirrors, and see where that takes us. Because next turn we'll be back to having ones again, which are usable on the dagger. She's about to poison me, which is a bit of a pain. We have a lot of ones now. I always like to have leather armor. I could just do dagger to steal the ones in damage, or I could just heal four. So I could deal four, or I could heal four. Or I could uptick, which is probably better, and deal six, or heal none. So let's just deal six. It's the optimal play. Gotta maximize that, uh, that output. I mean, like she's doing right now, Jesus. 
Okay, well, fortunately, we were able to do a lot this turn, so let's trips it up. Yeah, I think we won. Boop. 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 Um, let's actually... Let's get a little bit of, a little bit of meds on. Alright. And now, get out of here. Oh, you think you can beat trees, do you? You feeling good? A trees will- Oh, I already read that before. No, it's fine. You can try. But I'm better than you. I got the power of God and fire on my side. Ooh, dodging next attack with a five. That's actually really good. I think it is. Poison slingshot, not really what I want. But teleport spell, I think is better than the heal thing. So I think I'm going to nab that. Bandage, get out. Teleport spell, get in. And let's see what we can upgrade. Actually, should I upgrade now? I think I should, actually, because... Dealing more of the dagger is always fantastic. Leather armor, I don't really care. Um, hollow mirrors, I don't really care either. Lockpick, no. Snake eye charm, that's not bad, actually. Teleport spell, no. I think dagger. Dagger upgrade, the best. And we'll use that a lot. I'm sure, because I'm not sure if we're going to survive the next fight. Anything that gives us better odds is fine by me. So yeah, so with this, I can now do a 4 and then 2 damage. So this is equivalent to 6, where I would have done 4 before. So that's actually pretty nice. Though do I want to reduce... What do they have? They have a thing to drain health, and they have a thing to do damage. I think leather armor is a nice thing to have against this guy. Let's do this as well to just give ourselves a nice dodge. So we have a, a lot of resistance to his attacks now. Haha, <laughs> nerd. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, this is a good setup. So, Hollow Mirror is it. Let's roll once so we get our dice back. And I could bring. Uh, actually, let's leather armor this. Split the six and two. Maybe we'll get a five. No, we didn't get a five. Darn. Dagger it up. And unfortunately, we won't be able to use this four in anything, but it's fine. Oh, crap, I got a six again. I didn't get the dodge this time. Which sucks. Oh, this is not good. Come on, I thought I was good. I had such a good first turn, but... I don't know if I can uh, take this guy on at this point. Another armor, of course. I could get so I could do two four six some I can do nine damage this turn if I did this. I just gotta hope I survive this next turn that he doesn't roll really high. I feel. Cause I think I can get him next turn or the very I'm screwed. Why do you have to roll this high? Oh dang it, come on! Come on! I don't know what I was supposed to do there. I did the best I could of my setup, so. Alright, um, once again, I think I'm about back to where I am. This is so hard to play, just saying. But, I think I have a pretty decent setup now. I got an upgraded magic spear. Probably should have upgraded my dagger and thought about it a bit more, but you know what? I like the idea of when I get a 6, I can just deal immediately 14 damage. Like, that's pretty massive, IMO. So, we're gonna mess around with that and see what we can do. For now, though, dagger it up. Actually, do I want a heal or do I want a dagger? I think just dealing massive damage in this battle is good, because once we win, we get a heal. So, let's uptick it and do a 14. Now, the problem is, we won't be able to do that again for a little while. But we should still be able to do a good amount in this turn, hopefully. Whenever we're at once, it's actually pretty nice, because I can just keep on manipulating my dice to get a ton. And I can kunai like crazy. So I've I have two alternatives I can do. And I'm not sure which is the best one. So I could uptick twice to get a lot of threes. So I could do three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. Um actually that would make me win. But if I did kunai, so it would be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. It would be a bit too low. Okay. So let's actually uptick it then. It's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Um, but if we uptick again, three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen, we win. Okay. I don't care about getting the healing crystal out because we w heal after this fight anyway. Aw oh, yeah, take that bully. You think you're so great, but you know what? 
Do not walk so great and they are gonna get ya. Hate you, bully. You're the worst. You're trash. Scum of the earth. Okay. And now we got our sorceress over here. They can use ice or fire. Let's see what they use this time. They've got... Ice! The Ice Witch. Do sorceresses like being called witches? Is that like an offensive term for them? I'm not sure. Regardless, let's see. We can dagger and kunai and just deal pretty good damage. Or we can... Well, we don't need healing pistols, so let's just do that. We could also magic spear. But we'll need to uptick twice to get to that. Is that what I want to do? I mean, I really have nothing else I can do, so I say why not. And then we'll be on ones next turn, which is very useful for us. Okay, I think I'm starting to figure this out a little bit better. At the very least, we're able to use all their dice now and be somewhat effective with it, which is nice. I'm glad you weren't able to use that second ice shard. <laughs> that would have been a pain. Oh no, they froze my one and turned it into a one. I'm not going to worry about upticking. I'm just going to... Actually, would I be able to finish them? I'd be able, I'm able to do 10 now. I'd be do eight. I'd be able to do 9 if I uptick twice. Okay. So no. Let's just kunai like crazy. Kunai's actually pretty nice. Because if dagger's not upgraded... Um, kunai allows me to get the effective... Like, effectively, it's the same as an upgraded dagger if we're putting the ones in. Because it does one extra damage with the ones. So the only thing upgrading the dagger would do is allow me to use my 2s and 3s a bit better with damage. Which is still pretty nice, but... It's fine. It's fine. We'll make it work. I was thinking we could split this in two. And then we could uptick it all to threes. And then win. But also, we can get two heals out at the same time. Oh, no. We can't get two heals out because it's not reusable. We'll get one heal out. <laughs> there we go. I have a lot of money, by the way. I have ten gold here. Because I've been using, uh, as you can see in my equipment, pickpocket for the first couple of fights. Just to sort of stock up. So we can basically buy whatever we want to now. <sighs> countdowns on a Do we even have anything that like needs countdowns for the most part? Uh, we have Snake Eye Charm, but that's it. I don't really care too much about that. So, not Crowbar. Teleport Spell. Pretty nice. I might nab that. And honestly, Leather Armor, I'm probably not going to use it, but I have money, so... <laughs> might as well spend... Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to end this episode of Dicey Dungeons here, where we still have three more floors to go. I suspect there's still going to be some failures and some issues, like some difficulties with fights, because this is a tough setup to, to play through. But I'm enjoying it. I don't know. I feel like I'm able to tolerate some of the losses more easily. Or maybe it's because I have a little bit less... Oh, I say less schoolwork. I don't really have less schoolwork. I do have a lot I need to do. But I need a break, so it's nice to give me an excuse to play a bit more. But yeah... That's it for this episode of Dicey Dungeons. If you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like, comment, or a subscription. It really does help. That's all for now, and I hope to see you on the next adventure.